Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Kamran and this channel is all about to show you how to become an IT pro really really fast. In this video, we are going to talk about how to make Windows 10 look like Mac OS Big Sur. Without any further ado, let's get started. Windows 10 have a very attractive user interface, themes and backgrounds. However, we can customize Windows 10 and we can get the Mac OS Big Sur look on Windows 10 as well. So first of all, we have to download and install the Mac OS cursors. So simply you have to open up your browser and you have to search for Mac OS cursors for Windows. So here you can see that we have the first link from the DeviantArt.com website and on this website the Mac OS cursor for Windows is available. So you simply have to click on this link and the DeviantArt.com website is opened. I will also provide this link in the description of this video so you can simply copy that link and you can visit this website and you can download the Mac OS cursors. In order to download the Mac OS cursors from this website first of all you need to perform sign up and then you have to sign in and after that you will be able to download the Mac OS cursors for Windows so once you have signed up and logged in successfully then you simply have to click on this download button so now you have to select the folder or directory where you want to save this file so once you have done that then you have to click on save. All right, so it is successfully downloaded. I have downloaded it into the documents directory. So now let's extract it. This is the folder for Mac OS cursors for Windows. You simply have to click on it. And here you can see that you have the install.inf file. So right click here and you have got the install option. So simply click on install option, click on open and click on yes. Alright, so the Mac OS cursors for Windows is successfully installed. Now you have to close and minimize your browser and go to the control panel, search mouse here and click on it. Now you have to select the pointers and in the scheme you can see that we have this list. So simply click here and here we have got the Mac OS option. So select this and click on apply, click on yes and then click on OK. And now you can see that I have got the Mac OS cursor. Now close the control panel window. The next step is to download and install the Rain Meter. The Rain Meter is a free and open source desktop customization utility for Windows. So open up your browser again and search for Rain Meter. Download. All right. You have got this link, simply click on it. On this page, we have got the 4.4 beta release for Rainmeter and this is the 4.3.1 final release. So it is a good practice to download the final release and use it because it is tested thoroughly. But if you want to download the beta release, you can also download it by clicking here. So I'm gonna download the final release. So simply click on this button, select the directory and hit enter. All right, so the Rainmeter is successfully downloaded now I'm gonna double click on it select your preferred language and click on OK now you have to select the type of install the one is the standard installation that is recommended and the other is the portable installation so I'm gonna go with the standard installation and click on next the destination folder is this but you can also select any other folder if you want to so once you have selected the destination folder then click on install now click on yes and it is installed successfully. Now you have to click on finish. Next we have to download and install the rain meter skin. So simply open up your browser again and now you have to search here for Mac OS Big Sur widgets rain meter. Click on the first link that is from the DeviantR.com and download it. Select your directory and hit enter. It is being downloaded. It is downloaded successfully. Now go to your directory and extract this. All right, so here you can see that you have got this bigsaw.rm skin. So double click on it, click on install. So now here you have the dark mode and the light mode. So I'm going to select the light mode and then you have to click on apply theme. You have to select your layout. So select it according to your preference. 
and you can see that I have got these widgets on my desktop if you want to change their position so for example if you want to put this clock here then you can place this clock here and you can change the position of the other widgets as well now our next step is to install the dock in the Mac OS we have a dock at the bottom the dock contains multiple applications and their icons at the bottom there are multiple docks available for windows 10 but i'm going to download and install the nexus dock so open your browser again and now you have to search for nexus dock and hit enter this is a winstep website link here we have the nexus dock simply click on it and to download it you have to click on download now let's save it all right so the nexus uh, doc is successfully downloaded now let's go to my directory and here you can see that we have the nexus doc so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna simply extract it here and this is the nexus setup.exe so if i double click on it now you have to select the language to use during the installation so i'm very comfortable with the english if you want to select any other language then you can do so by clicking on this list and you can select any language after this you have to click on ok this is the license agreement of the nexus talk go through it and then you have to select i accept the agreement and click on next if you want to select any other destination location then you can select by clicking on browse and then you have to click on next click on next and now you have to click on install when you will click on finish you will exit the setup and it will launch the nexus so click on finish and here you can see that we have got the dock but uh, we have to make some changes into this dock so you simply have to right click here and now you have to select the screen position select the bottom screen edge and i'm gonna place it here all right but you can see that the theme is not the mac os big sore theme now we have to download the mac os big sore theme and we have to change the theme of our dock as well so open up your browser and now you have to search for mac os big sore theme for windows 10 all right hit enter go to the deviant website by clicking on this link and this is the big sore theme for windows 10 simply click on download and click on save all right the theme is downloaded successfully i'm gonna create a new folder in my documents directory in which i will copy this theme and i will extract this theme there all right so the name of this folder is gonna be theme now let's copy this and let's paste it here all right so now let's extract it if i click on it you can see that we have uh, the theme for the docs open this folder we have the big sore light the big sore night and the indicators i will select the big sore light theme go to your nexus talk and click here and here you can see that you have got the themes option i want to add a new theme so click on open folder this is the folder now you have to go to the wine step users public public documents wine step and here you have the nexus folder go to the nexus folder select the background folder so you have to copy this theme and you have to paste it into the backgrounds folder and now you can see that we have the big so light theme in the list so simply select this theme and click on apply and now click on ok all right so now you can see that the theme is changed successfully and we have got the mac os big sore theme on our dock all right so now the next step is to apply the mac os big sore theme on my system globally and for that i need a secure ux theme patcher and it is available on github click on this link and uh, you can see that we have got a download link here in the download section so click on latest release and save this theme tool the mac os big sore theme that we have downloaded previously you have to open this folder and you have to select the window 10 themes and you have to select the thin taskbar and select these themes now go to your c directory select windows folder go to resources folder now and you can see that we have the themes folder here 
So simply you have to paste these uh, themes here and click on continue. All right, so all these themes are now pasted successfully in the themes folder. And now you have to run this theme tool.exe file. Have you read and agree to the license? If you answer no, it will open the license agreement in this text file. You have to go through it. And then you have to open this tool again. Now you have to click on yes. And you can see that we have the big sore day theme, big sore night theme and multiple big sore themes are available here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the big sore two day theme, click on patch and apply. The theme is being applied on my system. All right. So now the Mac OS big sore theme is applied on my system globally. Now the next step is to install the Mac OS bar. So in the Mac OS, we have a bar at the top. So now let's download and install the Mac OS bar. Open up your browser and search for rain meter. Yosemite bar and hit enter. It is available on the Debian Art website. Click on it. Now click on this button in order to download it and save it. Once the bar is downloaded, you simply have to click on this file and now you have to click on install. All right, so here now you can see that we have a Mac OS bar on the top, but if you have a bar at bottom, then you can right click here. You can go to the taskbar setting and you can select this option automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. And after that, you have to lock this taskbar. Now the next step is to download and apply the Mac OS wallpaper. So simply open up your web browser and search here Mac OS Big Sore Wallpaper. Go to this website, select the desktop and save this wallpaper. All right, so this wallpaper is downloaded successfully. Now right click here and select the set as desktop background. All right, so now you can see that the wallpaper is applied successfully and we have made Windows 10 look like Mac OS Big Sore. So this is how you can make your Windows 10 look like Mac OS Big Sore. I hope you got my point and that's it for this video. If you really like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss the notifications of our upcoming videos. And if you have some feedback then please let us know about your feedback in the comment section thank you so much and see you in the next video